Hey guys and welcome, this is Callum from Falcon Studios and I'm here playing FIFA 13 doing my career mode, well manager mode with Arsenal, as you can tell they are my team that I support I did my Football Manager 2013 series with them as well and now I'm going to transfer that over to P13 on Xbox 360 and I've only just taken over, as you can see it's um, mm -hmm. July 1st and um, so I'm just gonna have to skip forward a little bit, check out the squad, see what's going down with that types of new contracts, that sort of thing. So let's see. The squad's looking all right. Obviously, for some reason, Jack Wilshire does get left out when you go back to the original squads. So DRB drops to the bench, in my opinion. Um. Um, no other real changes needed for friendlies. We'll probably put Serge Nabry in there. Um, Miquel, uh, Jenkinson, he grows quite a bit in this game apparently. And Ramsey also has not been playing amazingly well in real life. So let's hope that he can play a bit better on this. Andre Santos is never getting the game. <laughs> I might even have to change the formation around a little bit. I don't, I don't agree with the. Uh, 4-3-3 that Arsene Wenger plays in real life. I might have to change that a little bit. But we're just going to simulate through time. Oh, we've got our objectives. Dear Mr. Pedder. Um, okay, well the board is hopeful of success. Okay, what do they want from me? They want me to quali quali qualify? They want me to qualify for the Champions Cup, which is Champions League. But obviously they can't call it that because this is FIFA, not UEFA. And pay for it. So, Champions Cup. And uh, yeah, that's all I want really. Um, they want us to win the cup. Okay, well that's kind of a hard task. Do they specify which cup they want me to win? Is it the League Cup or the FA Cup or what? Uh, important transfer information. Um, is it going to tell me how much money I want? Uh, apparently not. Uh, I know there's quite a few players that are not on con that are running out of contracts for this club, so I'm gonna try and tie them up. How do I do that? How do we go about tying up the contracts. Do I not even get? Do I not get to do that? I don't think I get to do that because I'm just manager. I'm not player manager. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not far enough in yet. Into target Real Madrid's Özil. That would be a very weird transfer. There goes the clock again, it's always going. I don't know if it heard down there, but the uh, alarm clock in my room, that always goes off every hour. Always goes off during the video when I'm recording. Manchester City undecided between Boateng or Urza. Um. Well, Kempridge Boateng's good, but I reckon Urza's better, he's more creative. Keep advancing. If Inter Milan got Urzu, that'd be a weird transfer because Urzu, Inter Milan aren't great to be honest. Urzu is great. So yeah, Bayern interested in Aguero. Bayern Munich are amazing, so he would he would suit in there quite well, I reckon. I'm not going to do any transfer business until a little bit later on. Marwan Shamak. Um, uh, I'll do a counter offer, say four point four mil. I reckon I'll be getting a good deal from that. Shamak is just an extra player on the wage budget, and that is all, in my opinion. He's he started off good in the Arsenal colours, however, dropped off quite severely towards his latter Arsenal career. Right, we have a transfer. Offer for Jack Wilshire. I'm not selling him no matter what because he's going to turn into something quite amazing. Uh, so reject offer for that. Um, Everton want back with Sangya. Sorry, you no know, can do. Not yet, anyway. No, I did not do that. Reject offer. I uh, I don't think he's worth selling. The only cover we have there is Carl Jenkinson, and at the moment he's not at his best in the game. Um, international 
something or other. I couldn't bother to read that. It was quite pointless. That was something about Torres that actually skipped. So and Torres might be signing for Roma. We have reviewed your asking price of 4.4 million pounds for Shamak and decided to match it and go ahead with the deal. Good. Because I don't want him. He probably doesn't want to be with us as well. So, you know, it's, uh, I'm not selling Chesney unless it's a really good offer. 10 million, no. Sorry, but I need Chesney. This Arsenal team has potential. And that's why I don't want to sell it. I don't want to do what Arsenal Wenger does and just sell them when they get to their peak of their potential. Like he did with Cesc Fabregas and Sami Nasri and Robin Van Persie and God knows who else. So I'm just going to try and keep everyone, maybe bring in a few more players. As you can see on the latest deals there, Gomez has gone, I think that's to Monaco, I think. That's quite funny. Um, Tottenham, painful as it is to say, they have got some good goalkeepers um, they have Hugo Lloris and Brad Friedel you know, good good goalkeepers oh, talks are broken down, Shamak bloody idiot why do you have to go and do that? What? I don't see why he wants so much money he's not not really a great player is he? he's, he's mediocre at best really for a team like Arsenal anyway Manchester City's Torre League of Valencia Club football. I don't reckon that'll happen. The 29-year-old Ivorian is too good for Valencia. He's too good for Spanish football. He wouldn't fit in Spanish football as well, I don't think, because he is really tough and the toughest player out in uh, out in um, Spain is Pepe, and he is an absolute madman. But other than that, there's no one really tough. It's like Sergio Busquets after that. And that's, that's, that's saying something. Barcelona interested in Wayne Rooney. If that happened, that would be hilarious. I reckon it could happen because they now have Robin Van Persie. And Rooney is not as good as Van Persie, in my opinion. Francis Coquelin. Hey, boss. I was hoping that you, I might be able to... No, I'm just going to vary it in that. You want to be a rotation, give a chance in this game. I may well do that because we are playing. Who is this? I do not know yet. Play them. Stad Brest. <laughs> Lols. That's Giroud. Is that, is that meant to be Giroud? And the, that is a terrible interpretation of Giroud. I'm sorry, EA. But that is wrong. That is wrong. Okay, let's, let's try and set this up now. We don't. I'm going to see how well Vorshek does in goal. Let's put. Um. Kyle Jenkinson, right back. We'll have Per in there, and then we can have Ignacy. That's him. Kieran Gibbs, you're out. Um, Andre Santos, fine. Why not? Uh, centre mids. DRB because he's developing. Frimpong also. Because all he can stay in this will be a debut. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain. I reckon he should come in somewhere. We don't. We don't want to do too many good players though. Want, okay, so I want Serge Gnabry there. Giroud and Podolski. Okay, that's a bit of a mixture of quality and mediocrity. But development is key to this Arsenal team. We've got a strong bench. Hopefully, we should be able to brush this side away. Um. So let's get our first game started, I suppose. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Oh! Oh! That's amazing! <laughs> I really do not know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Didn't read the instructions. Oh well. Let's get on with our first game. I am very bad at FIFA, so I'll probably... I'm very bad against the CPU anyway, because they can read what you're doing beforehand. So I might not be very good. So I apologise for that in advance. Well, here we go. Got Mersak who's playing around the defence now. Ignacy, who's actually captaining, so I forgot to change him, because he's playing in Thomas Marlin's position. 
Um, let's get a bit of tactics done. High pressure. Serge Nabry played down the right hand side here. His trickery is not as good as it is in real life. Great interception there by Per Mertesacker. Played it out wide to Dorsky. His first touch in an Arsenal shirt. Manuel Frington plays it out to Abu Diabu. Serge Nabry. Nabry crosses in. Giroud. Headed it away. Santa Gazzola does new free signings of this summer so far. And Podolski, Giru and Cazola are all playing as in attacking roles at the moment. Serge Nabry. Oh, the pace. Plays it back. Frimpong! Scores. It's our first goal. It's a bit of a sweaty goal. I apologise on that front. However, I just want to win. I do not want to mean look a fool against this team who I've never heard of before in my first FIFA commentary on YouTube. So, I'm doing everything in my power to win. Frimpong, my first goal scorer as manager of this fantastic football club. And now we just got to defend well and not mess up. Lovely tackle there. Santa Gazzola plays a lovely flight of through ball in there through to Podolski. Podolski plays it in. Sweats it across goal. I don't really know what to do. I don't want to keep sweating it because that's not who I am as a FIFA player. However, why would I not? When I, why would I not do anything I can to win? They were talking up there in the top corner about Marwan Shamak and his potential move away from the Emirates Stadium. His potential move away from the Emirates Stadium, of course, has ended now because he was selfish and couldn't meet the personal terms available to him that West Brom offered to him and they withdrew from the table, which, in my opinion, was a very daft move by Shamak because he's not going to get any first in football as long as I'm manager anyway unless some severe injuries happen which means that we will have to use our fourth maybe fifth choice striker lovely ball there though to Serge Nabry Nabry crosses it in plays it up to Podolski Podolski can't quite get there Frimpong Giroud Giroud is offside don't know why he's offside didn't need to be we weren't in a very attacking position but uh, well, oh, got beaten to the head of there, Andre Santos. Andre Santos tried to play with his legs. Mertzak misses the challenge. Oh, almost intercepted. Lovely tackle by Miguel though. And Chesney clears up the loose ball. Out wide to Carl Jenkinson. Plays it in the midfield to Santa Gazzara, who's playing well already in his first game in Arsenal Colours. Frimpong. Plays it back out to Serge Nabry. Olivier Giroud on the wing for some reason. Plays it into Nabry. Nabry shoots. Nabry scores! What a finish by Serge Nabry. What a tank. I know he's going to be a great player when he gets a little bit older. I think he's only 17 years old at the moment. The German international. I think the name like Serge. He is German. However, I'm not too sure about that. Don't take my word for it. But that was a fantastic strike with his left foot. Right in the bottom corner, beats the keeper at his near post essentially, and Arsenal take a 2-0 lead as it stands. Andres Hansen with a great tackle, plays it out to Olivier Giroud. Giroud gets dispossessed though, and Aite, I think that's how you pronounce his name, plays a through ball forward, but Midwell intercepts, dispossesses, and collects the ball. It's now with Carl Jenkinson on the right. Long ball across to Podolski. Podolski heads it down to Andre Santos, who's going to make a darting run forward. He gets outpaced, so he plays it forward to Lucas Podolski. Podolski plays it infield to Frimpong next to Diaby. Diaby plays it across to the right wing to Serge Nabry. He's going to do a few little skills around his man. Cross it in. Podolski gets beaten to the header again by Andre Santos. It looks like he's going to pick up the remains. However, gets beaten to the ball. And now SB, I'm just going to call them SB because I do not know how to pronounce their team name properly, are now on the counter attack. Lesomier, I think his name is, gets across in. However, Chesney picks up the loose ball. Good, promising signs by him so far. Tries to throw the ball, however, and he punches someone in the face. Carl Jenkinson now with the ball. He's running at no one at the moment, it seems. No one making a run in the Arsenal colours either. So Jenkinson's just going to have to cross it in. 
hoping Juru will get on the end of it. Juru does make the run, however, a little bit too late. Can't quite get to the ball. SB are now trying to play some possession football. Um, Mertesacker comes across. Now Jenkinson dispossesses quite comfortably. And Arsenal again playing it round their back four. Andre Santos plays it out wide to Podolski. Podolski takes it. Well, tries to. Gets dispossessed, but then he gets the ball back from Pong. Now down the wing. We play it back inside Santi Cazorla. Cazorla to Diaby. Diaby out to Serge Nabry. His heavy touch gives the ball away. Mertesacker now with the ball. In his defensive third, Miguel plays it back out to Andre Santos. Santos to Frimpong. Cazorla. Gonna do a bit of trickery here. Take it round. It's nimble footwork. Cazorla. Cazorla shoots. Blocked away. Diaby keeps possession with a lovely header that beats to his man. Santi Cazorla again plays it to Abu Diaby. Diaby to Serge Nabry. Nabry takes it down the wing. Gets the corner. Arsenal are now quite scary in this this prospect because they have a few tall players however they could not reach the target man himself who would be Olivier Giroud Miguel however did win the header but the header wasn't clinical enough but Arsenal now after a brief, brisk counter attack from SB Arsenal now pick up the ball there's one minute of added on time there was no real injuries or fouls in this game. They were probably mainly just from throw-ins. But the first half is up. Arsenal winning two goals to nil. Thanks to a nice early goal from Frimpong. And a delightful finish by Serge Gnabry. But the highlights here. This is the sweaty goal that I scored to open up my campaign. Great finish. This goal. This isn't the goal at all. This is just a nice bit interception from Chesney. This goal here. Juru plays the ball along. First time, bounced just in front of the keeper, which made it quite difficult for the keeper to catch the ball. In the end, he jumped underneath the ball. Okay, around the ground, Southampton and AS Nancy are still all square. Um, Sunderland lost to Barcelona. They put up a good fight though, with a 3-2 loss at the Stadium of Light. And Wigan Athletic beat Hamburg two goals to one. We're at, at the moment having the best result of the English clubs that have taken part in a game today. Santi Gazzola playing well in his debut. Jury with an assist already in his debut. Um, Podolski hasn't done much. But he's looked threatening down that right left hand side. Chesney's had a solid game in goal so far. Albeit the opposition that he is trying to stop from scoring are not the most clinical. I wouldn't have thought anyway never heard of them before in my life I think they're Belgium or they could be French not too sure but we're starting up the second half now 40 and 50 minutes in now and it is a foul against Andre Santos the first he's committed probably one of many to come in his career the free kick five way over the bar that would have been an abysmal effort really shouldn't really have even been taking that or looking to take that sort of free kick from that sort of area good defending there by Miguel and now Arsenal on the counter attack Podolski plays it to Juru. Juru finds the pass back to Podolski Podolski shoots misses strikes it with his left foot which is his weak foot he only on FIFA has a weak foot ability of three star which is why he did not bury that in the back of the net if that was his left foot I'm sure that would have been dead and buried, Frimpong, I think that was Frimpong, plays the ball to Podolski, Podolski back to Frimpong, Frimpong's touch let him down, he probably took his eye off the ball a little bit, went to look for the pass and couldn't actually obtain the ball, another great tackle there by Miguel, maybe him being captain has spurred him on a little bit, don't know if there has any morale to that on this game, or maybe I'm just playing well with him, Murtisaka deep up the pitch, Murtisaka, 36 pace <laughs> whips in across <laughs> oh, uh, Carl Jenkinson looks to come across while Per Mertzaka is absent from his position at Per Mertzaka's back Andre Santos did get beaten there however does win the ball back and stops it from going out for the corner and brings it out for a throw in 
SB are on the attack. I'll make a substitution. Dernis is on for the I thought was quite threatening uh, right winger that they have. I'm not sure how I'm gonna pronounce his name. Oh, and he makes an instant impact. Dernis, I didn't wasn't really concentrating. I was more concentrating on commentating on the game than actually playing the game. Let's be fair. However, that was a brilliant finish. Chesney had no way of stopping. Let's take the throw in the lovely pass there, which and then Miguel let him through, which he should never have done. He put, took the tackle, maybe a little bit overconfident of how he's playing so far this game. So remember that he's still very young. He's not a polished article as of yet. But Arsenal are now without a clean sheet, which is always worrying in a friendly match against this team. The RB plays the ball through to Frimpong. Frimpong shoots, and it's just wide, narrowly wide. Only a couple of, maybe a foot, a foot or two wide, don't know. Wasn't too far away. It struck with his weaker foot, off balance as well, so that was the reasons as to why he didn't hit the target. But now Arsenal pick up the ball again. Serge Gnabry in there. Um, defensive third now. Cazorla makes a dancing run forward, passes the ball back to uh, Miguel. Now with from Podolski has the ball. Is he going to cut inside? He does cut inside. Giroud plays the ball to Cazorla. Cazorla shoots. Cazorla hits the post and it just goes wide. That is unlucky for Santa Cazorla. That was brilliant play by Arsenal. Brilliant play by Giroud. Exquisite play by Cazorla. Unlucky to not get a goal there. But I'm sure there will be many to come from him in fixtures that are going to come up throughout the season as he is an instrumental player to Arsenal in real life and he is a fantastic player to Arsenal on this game. I'm going to make a quick substitution. I'm going to bring on Mikel Arteta for Frimpong. I'm going to bring on you, Dolski and Rzitski. You can come on for Pozzola because Pozzola is having a good game. I don't want to get him injured. So we're doing our three substitutions that we are allowed now. Hopefully no injuries take place after these substitutions because I don't want anything to happen to any of our players, obviously including in a pre-season friendly against one of the most irrelevant games that I'll ever play on this game. But let's go. Murtasaka wins the header again. He's always winning those aerial battles. Oxley chamberlain outpaces his man down the wing. Lovely play there. DRB gets his head on it, however, it is not enough to beat the keeper's hand. Jenkinson takes the throw on Nabry. DRB plays it. Oh, that was a weird pass. I did not expect to happen. But brilliant play there by Andre Santos. Murtaka, lovely through ball over the top. That is quite a vicious play, I would have thought. In real life football, that would have probably been a foul. Miguel wins the header, but the header does go to no one. Miguel does a reckless sliding challenge, leaving the part open at the back. And they're pouring it through in numbers, and that is just over the bar. Murta didn't have the great best positioning that he could have had for that shot, and that's why we did not defend too very well. Arsenal tried to thread the ball through there, obviously Chamberlain. However, the ball was dispossessed quite comfortably by the defending team. Andre Santos now gets the ball away. Diaby plays it to Trzyski. Trzyski plays it to Oxley chamberlain Oxley chamberlains going to run at his defenders all day, every day, against no, no other team. However, he gets outpaced there with a bit of a dodgy touch, letting it go infield. Arteta, terrible tackle there. A referee plays advantage. Referee plays advantage as well. Murtasaka, there's a great challenge there. And another great challenge there by what's his face, Andre Santos. That was a, that would have been a good ball if Nabry did keep his run going. However, did stop his run halfway through. The one he was making, Rosicki plays another ball to Nabry. Juru plays the ball to Nabry again. Oh, that would have been a magnificent goal. I went silent for stun there. I was stunned. I didn't know if that was going to go in or not. Arteta wins the ball back for Arsenal. Monster Chamberlain, that was a terrible foul there. Way too vicious. We're going to get a yellow card for Mikel Arteta for that dreadful tackle that he did. And then he's not going to bring back that guy. I'm not sure who he was, but he should have brought him back for a yellow card for the other foul that just happened on Oxford Chamberlain. 
because that was quite bad. And okay, Permad's after taking the free kick, I'm just going to play it short to DR because Mursaka is not going to have the best delivery on him. Oxlade Chamberlain shoots <gasps> just over the bar. I thought I might have a pop of it and see how the whole point of friendlies is for me to see how well the team plays together, how well each individual can take a shot from where and work out the best combination of how to win games. So I thought I may as well. Let's say Chamberlain plays it to Juru. Juru is good at passing, so he plays it back out to Mikel Arteta. Arteta crosses it in. Rosicki has the header. That probably would have been better if it was Juru there. The header was not great. Murtasaka tries to clear the ball. We do not want a red card, Arteta, so stop sliding in for unnecessary challenges. Great tackle by a mixture of Andre Santos and um, Mikel Arteta there. Three balls just aren't working for Arsenal right now. The power has shifted in this game. I can imagine them scoring. Miguel does clear the ball. Uh, Rosicki has the ball now. Lovely ball by Arteta facing the wrong way. Juru now. Rosicki. Diaby. Come on, Abri. <laughs> oh, that looks like Chamberlain anyway. That would have been a magnificent goal. I don't know why the cross went so hard. And yeah, it was one of the triple X crosses, which should have gone on the floor. We do win our first game. It was a great game. We started off well. Didn't finish as well as we probably should have. But Serge Gnabry had a great game. Scoring one, assisting one, getting man of the match award also. That was a great game. And it was the end of the first episode now. It has been 27 minutes of recording of this episode alone so i hope you guys all enjoyed what you've seen today i'm probably not going to show you all the friendlies because the friendlies are kind of pointless there's no point in really you watching them but i hope you enjoyed the episode nonetheless and i'm sure i'll be seeing you around for more videos like this so i'll see you guys next time goodbye